Assalamualaikum So let's proceed with our teaching video for this week So I'm going to finish uh, chapter 1, topic 1 And um, before this, my teaching video ended here When I explain uh, the concept of scarcity choices and opportunity cost The economic concept with relation to the PPC Okay, now we would like to focus on the third economic concept which is opportunity cost so before this I explained to you opportunity cost means the foregone cost of not choosing the other best alternative for example in this case if you are trying to change from point B to point C meaning that we are adding one more braid from one to two braid because of the scarcity limited resources we need to fork on the other goods which is television so before this at B the television is 14 now when we move to C the television is 12 so how many television need to be foregone to add more braid? it, it is 2 2, te uh, two TV need to be foregone to add one more braid. so this is what we call as opportunity cost the foregone cost so opportunity cost uh, there are two types of opportunity cost which is the opportunity cost per unit and opportunity cost of movement from point to point so the opportunity cost of movement from point to point is the one that I explained before this one if we want to move from B to C the opportunity cost is 2 we want to move from C to D the opportunity cost will be 12 minus 9 so it's 3 and the opportunity cost of moving from point to point uh, can can change from B to E it's not necessarily B to C, C to D it can go from here to here so if you want to, to know the opportunity cost if you want to change from the combination of B to E we look at the, 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 the value of TV the amount of TV at B point B is 14 at E, TV is 5 here in between 6 and 4 so 14 minus 5 it's 9 meaning that we need to fork on 9 TV if we want to change from combination B to E meaning that we are trying to add like, from 1 braid to 4 braid we are trying to add 3 more braids ok so as simple as that opportunity cost of movement from point to point just you calculate the amount we need to fork on of the other good which is the, the goods that is on the y axis not on the x axis okay because the goods in x axis is the one we want to add as time goes by from a to b to c to d good in x axis will increase so this one is the good we are trying to add and when we are trying to add this good uh, the good in y axis which is tv will start to decrease and need to be foregone okay so the one we need to calculate and be careful with is, is the opportunity cost per unit so the opportunity cost per unit will influence the shape of PPC okay so I only uh, taught you the, the shape of PPC like this right so this shape we call as concave concave do you know what is cave? case is gua so bentuk dia macam ni kan in that kita kalau nak senang ingat lah ha, so dia ada tempat yang boleh masuk so gua lah ha, senang tu tu cara saya meng, mengingat lah membezakan antara concave convex tapi kalau you belajar sains dulu concave is cembung convex is cengkung ok so this is concave shape and we have more a uh, more shape of PPC we have two more ok here is the shape uh, this is concave this is convex this is a straight line so three types of PPC so this PPC the shape of PPC um, how how will we get this shape it depends on the types of opportunity cost opportunity cost per unit so if they give you table like this you won't be able to draw without graph paper if the question asks you to sketch meaning that you don't need to use graph paper because sketch is you draw the y axis and x axis without scale so no need to use graph paper the problem is it's hard for you to to do something without graph paper when you don't know what shape should you draw so that's why 
we calculate the opportunity cost per unit. So the opportunity cost per unit will influence the shape of PPC, whether it will become concave, convex, or straight line. Okay, so let's go for exercise one. So here, I have a few combination A, B, C, D, E, and I have two types of product, radio and TV. So it's not the continuation of this one. Eh? This one is TV and bread. For this one, it's radio and TV. Okay, and operating cost of point, and this one is operating cost per unit. So point by point, I mean that if I want to change from point A to point B, what is the opportunity cost here? So bear in mind, you need to know uh, which good will be on the y-axis and which good will be on the x-axis. So the tips is here, you cannot just simply draw um, simply draw any types of good and at any types of axis, you cannot. You, uh, there's a way to determine which good to be uh, on which axis. Okay, so in this case, alright, uh, the tip says any good that increasing in value as time goes by, what I mean as time goes by, according to alphabet. So from A to B to C to D. So when the 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 combination change from A to B, so the value of the good is increasing. So which one? Kalau TV, the value of the good is decreasing from 10 to 9 to 7, makin menurun kan? But for radio, the value of the good is increasing from 0 to 2 to 4 to 6. So good, which the value is increasing as time goes by, will be on the x-axis. So if you draw here, it should be on the x-axis, here should be radio. So TV should be here. So you cannot be the opposite. Radio here, TV here. So this is the correct way to determine which good will be on which axis. Okay, hopefully you are okay with that. Any type of question, uh, just detect which good is increasing and which good is decreasing, then you, you are set to go. So one of the example, for example, okay, here, they give you the uh, table here, all right? So of course you need to draw. After they give you a table, they, you need to draw. Um, which good will be on the x axis? Which, which good will be on the y axis? You look at the figure. So car from 0 to 20 to 40 to 60 to 80, the value is increasing. While motorcycle from 200 decrease to 150 decrease to 100. So here the value is decreasing. So we can conclude that if you want to draw the um, PPC, in the x axis will be car and in the y axis will become motorcycle. Okay, simple as simple as that. Okay, so let's proceed. So here guys, to calculate the opportunity cost of point, my, uh, what I mean is by point here, opportunity cost movement from point to point. So the, the box is too small, so I just write the short form. You need to know which goods need to be foregone. So in this case, because you are adding radio, the, the goods that need to be foregone is the good that is decreasing, which is television. But most students, they find it hard to write what types of good here. Some, some students, they write the opportunity cost of TV. So it's wrong because here, because what should we write here is the opportunity cost of something that we are trying to add. Cost lepas kepada radio. Ah, senang nak cerita dia. Cost lepas kepada radio adalah TV. If you write it now as opportunity cost of TV, meaning that you are trying to let go of radio. Okay? Can can you understand that? So what types of opportunity cost to be written here is the one that the good is increasing in value. Okay? So not opportunity cost of TV, but opportunity cost of radio. So moving from combination A to B, right? So how many, how many radio needs? Uh, sorry, how many radio we are trying to add? Here we are trying to add two radio. So at the expense of one TV. So that's why the opportunity cost of radio 
is 1 TV. Okay? And moving from combination B to C, to add 2 more radio, you need to foregone 2 TV. Moving here, you need to foregone 3 TV. And here, you need to foregone 4 TV. Are you okay? Hopefully, you, you can understand this. You can rewind lah, kalau tak faham ya. Alright. So, biasanya yang bertambah ni, the value is always constant. Meaning that if you want to add 1, the second one will also will be 1, the third one will also be 1. So, ini di constant by 2. 2, 2, 2. It can be constant by 10, by 3, up to them lah. Tapi, normally, the value of increasing ni, always constant. But, the value of decreasing will always change. From changing from combination A to B, we forgot 1 TV. Going from B to C, we need to forgot 2 TV, and so on, and so on. So, as simple as that. This is how you calculate this. Well, for operation cost per unit, for radio, the formula will be decreasing over increasing. So, this is the formula. Okay? What does it mean by decreasing? The amount of decreasing of the good. So, now we know that TV, the amount will decrease as time goes by. So, normally, student will misunderstood and take this as the amount of decreasing. 9 divided by 2. So, it's very wrong. So, which one is decreasing? Which one is the, the amount of decreasing? Is this one. 1, 2, 3, 4. Is what, what I call, uh, what we meant by decreasing. And over increasing. So, which one is the one that increasing? This one. One, two, three, four. Two, 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 two. This one is the one, the value that is increasing. So, if it says decreasing over increasing, it's not nine divided by two, it's one divided by two. So, that's why you got one point zero point five. And for this one, two divided by two. So, here, why does this one doesn't have any value because we don't have the combination before A. It start from 0. So, when the uh, radio start from 0, this one will be dash. No operation cost involved. When we start to add radio, then it will involve opportunity cost. Something you, we need to foregone. So, we change from here to here. So, the line will be here, starting from here. So, tips here, anything start with 0, the first one will be dash. Do not put the value here. So, ada student dia salah buat dia 1.2, dia buat kat sini 0.5. So, dia dah salah kat sini, kat bawah ni dia akan jadi kos kotak dia kosong. So, dia akan tak cukup satu satu value. So, bear in mind, do not do that. Okay, and next says here will be decreasing is 3. 3 divided by 2. And this one will be 4 divided by 2. 2, 1.5, 1. So look at the value. Starting from the uh, above. 0, increase to 1, increase to 1.5, increase to 2. So this one what we call as increasing opportunity cost. And look at the value of opportunity cost at the opportunity cost per unit as time goes by what happened to the value the value keep increasing so this is what we call increasing opportunity cost so increasing opportunity cost will result to a concave ppc if you don't trust me you may use the graph paper and plot i already teach you how to plot here during my teaching video before so when you plot Using this table, you may try at home, okay, you will get a concave PPC. Sorry lah. 
because it's freehand so plus minus you buat tak nampak je lah ya <laughs> ok concave halal lah tu alright so write down here uh, so here will be radio here will be TV uh, make sure you label everything a diagram without labeling there's no meaning ok are you ok with that so cut it short if I'm uh, if I want to explain every single one of these the teaching will be video will be very long so you may try at home I have here with answer already okay this one I did already and then see I got a concave PPC and if you see exercise 2 the value of radio the value of TV object cost by point from here to here minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 right 6 tolak 4 pun 2 bawah tolak atas bawah tolak 4 tolak 2 pun 2 2 tolak kosong pun 2 so ini pun plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and so on so operation cost of point by uh, for radio uh, is when we want to add two radios, we need to forget two TV. When we add two more radio, it's two TV. Two, 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 two. And for this one, operation cost per unit, the amount of... Sorry, you can't see it here. Oh. So the formula is the same, eh? Decreasing over increasing. This one is decreasing. This one is decreasing. This one is increasing. So, 2, 2 divided by 2. So, the first one is dash because it starts from 0. 2 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2. That's why you got 1. So, look at the value. The value is always the same. So, what happened there? It's constant opportunity cost per unit. So, when we have a constant opportunity cost per unit, what happened to our PPC? Our PPC will become a straight line. You may try. Use this table. Buy graph paper. Try it at home. You will get a straight line PPC. Okay. And the last one is here. Value of radio. Okay. Still radio is increasing. TV is decreasing. Radio will be at the X axis. TV will become the Y axis. Okay. So you can see here. It's 6. Minus 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1 so this one because I put this as minus so you know this one is the value that decreasing this one is follow the value of decreasing only simple a simple step so because we know we want when we want to add 2 radio this is the amount that we need to forgone 2 more 2 more and 2 more and 2 more ok you can do your, this on your own alright so how to calculate this it's basically the same it's decreasing over increasing excuse my handwriting because I haven't write for so long I just use the computer just the, the laptop I, I, I type everything so my handwriting is very bad right now so excuse me so what should we do here at 6 divided by 2 that's why you got 6 divided by 2 is 3 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 so do the calculation and look at the, uh, the figure here the value here as time goes by the value is decreasing from 3, decrease to 2.5, decrease to 2, decrease to 1.5, decrease to 1 and 0 0.5. So this one we call as decreasing opportunity cost. So the shape of our PPC will become convex. Uh, if you don't trust me, use the graph paper and try. So this is good. This concept is very good because if the question asks you to sketch, see here, sketch the PPC. You don't need to. You cannot use graph paper. So you don't need to write down the scale. Sampo buat scale kat sini berapa sih? Berapa nak pakai kat sini? Tak perlu. Sebab dia suruh sketch. Kalau you pakai graph paper pun tak ada dapat marka. Sebab soalan nak sketch. So how can you precisely know the shape of PPC for this question? You need to calculate the operation cost per unit. But some students 
already made mistake for the first question. Why? Look at here. Opportunity cost per unit of motorcycle. Look at the figure here. Motorcycle, the value keep decreasing. Yeah, increasing is the car. Supposedly, here is the operation cost per unit of car, not motorcycle. Salah, salah. No, this equation wants to treat you. Ah, here's the challenge when you are at the university. Of course, kat sekolah pun ada soalan critical thinking, kan? Kat universiti apa dah lagi? Okay, so, macam mana dia memang tak ajar benda macam yang car je, yang barang-barang yang meningkat je. What happen kalau dia nak operation cost barang yang menurun? Change the formula. Kalau formula asal dia decreasing over increasing, so now, because dia nak yang terbalik, formula dia akan jadi increasing over decreasing. As simple as that. Are you okay? So, I have already the answer for this one. Wait, ah, kejap. Ha, cimak masa kalau tak, our teaching video will be very long. Alright, increasing over decreasing. So, we calculate dulu value yang decreasing. Because it start from zero, this one, the first one will be dash. Okay, I hope you can see this. Alright. So, here. 50, 200 minus 50, 150 is 50, 150 minus 100, so 50. So, this is the amount of decreasing. This is the amount of increasing. So, apa yang kita kena buat adalah increasing over decreasing. Bukan decreasing over increasing sebab dia nak benda yang menurun kat sini. Operation cost of motorcycle. Supposedly, dia tanya operation cost of car. Benda yang meningkat. Macam kita belajar dalam ni kan. So, uh, kita buat operation cost of radio. Benda yang meningkat. Bukan operation cost of TV. So, kalau kat sini dia nak operation cost of TV, you tu kalau formula kat sini. It become increasing over decreasing. Okay, sorry. Alright, so, it's basically 20 over 50, 0 0.4. So, during the exam this time around, masa soalan ni keluar, I, I forgot lah tahun bila, I think in 2015 kot. Out of our apa student kan, memang majority salah lah. Sebab dia buat apa, 50 bahagi 20, dapat 2.5. Instead of 20 over 50. Sebab dia tak perasan, dia tak tengok. So, be extra careful. Alright. So, when we got here, the value is constant. So, you got a straight line BPC. Because of constant. So, you don't have the problem of sketching. And you know it's car here, the cycle here. Just draw a straight, straight line. No need to do the scale. Tak perlu buat paksi-paksi tu. No need. As simple as that. This is how you get two marks. You label motorcycle setengah, car setengah, bentuk dia satu. Yes. Okay, two marks here. And for this two marks, this is the calculation. So, betul calculation ni, oh, terus dapat two marks. Now, we can try the question. Calculate the operation cost of producing 200 units of motorcycle. Look at here, guys. We are trying to... Uh, to... Uh, to produce 200 units of motorcycle here so most students they will answer zero madam kat sini zero it's wrong guys when they ask question like this they did not mention operation cost per unit okay bear in mind you need to know that if they want to produce 200 units of motorcycle, meaning that it's from nothing to 200. So, basically, it start from this point to this point. Boleh ke, Madam, kalau nak produce motorcycle, motorcycle kan menurun. Tak ada masalah. Sebab kita boleh pusing je. So, soalan dia kerja macam ni. Dia punya formula. So, no worries. They can ask whatever question they want to ask. As long as we, we understand this, then it won't be a problem to us. So, if they want to uh, to produce 200 units of motorcycle, it's not zero opportunity cost, right? Because the, uh, the, 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 the resources in the country can produce both car and motorcycle. So, if you want to use the resources to produce all motorcycle, 
what happened to the car how much car we need to prog on we'll start from this point until this point with that they are moving from point e to a so dia terbalik macam kita belajar ni dia daripada a ke b b ke c kan tak ada dia nak dia nak pada sini daripada f kepada a boleh je tak ada masalah maksudnya kalau f kepada a maksudnya kita nak tambah tv tv apa tambah daripada f tu the tv is zero kalau a the tv jadi 15 we are trying to add tv at the expense of break so opportunity cost kita adalah break are you okay so for this question I have too much here. Okay, so for this question, it's basically they are trying to move from this point to this point. Okay, so from zero motorcycle, we want to add 200 motorcycle plus 200 motorcycle. So what happened to the car? From 80, sebab kalau kat sini ambil ni, pasangan dia. 80, now the car becomes zero. So, how much we need to work on? 80. 80 minus 0. That's why the answer is 80,000 unit of car. Sebab dia dalam bentuk 1,000 ni. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay? Well, if the question asks for, if they want to produce 80,000 unit of car. Ah, dia tak bagi tahu dia perempuan mana, kita memang assume daripada nothing to something. So, it's basically from here to here plus 80. So what happened to motorcycle? From 200 now, motorcycle becomes zero. So how many, how many motorcycle we need to work on? 200. So that's why the answer is 200 units of motorcycle. Okay? So we have plenty more of question there about the calculation. You may try. I have the answer there. All the answer is with me. But please try dulu. Saya tak boleh provide answer terus kalau tak you membaca. Uh, so here, you can apply the concept here. Define PPC, various possible combination of two goods that can produce using existing resources and technology. Hafal ni lah definition ni. Confirm dia akan tanya definition of PPC. And explain what this point indicate. A is choice sebab dia atas curve. D is outside the curve. It's scarcity. E is point inside the curve in efficiency. I think I already explained to you, right? Okay, but we can answer this question now. Why is the shape of the PPC concave? Dia tanya kenapa bentuk PPC ni concave? What is the cause that the shape of the PPC become concave convex of straight line? It is the opportunity cost. What type of opportunity cost yang menyebabkan shape of PPC concave? Increasing opportunity cost. Because the opportunity cost per unit is increasing. That's why they get a concave curve. Okay. Uh, this one I haven't tried. Uh, I haven't teach you. Wait. I'll, I'll try to make this video as short as possible because I have too many things to, to talk about. So bear in mind. Uh, uh, bear with me. Alright, so let's look at here, sketch, I, I change this to sketch, but if you want to plot, it's okay, you may, you may try at home, <coughs> because I don't want my student to use graph paper for this question, before this, we, we are in class, so if they use graph paper, it's uh, taking uh, a very long time, so I want them to sketch, uh, the thing is, this question does not have an additional column there to calculate the operational cost per unit but if the question asks for sketch even though they don't ask you to calculate the operational cost per unit you must calculate the operational cost per unit in order to know the shape before you can sketch so here you can see that food is increasing the value of food is increasing the value of clothing is decreasing so you know uh, this one in uh, for the y-axis it will be clothing because the value is decreasing and x axis will be food because the value is increasing okay and then we calculate um as time goes by if we are trying to add 10 food we will forgone 50 minus 45 5 clothing add 10 more food from 10 to 20 we will forgone 45 minus 35 10 
unit of clothing. Okay, so what types of operation cost we will calculate here? The operation cost of the good that is increasing because we want to add this good. So, cost lepas kepada barang ini adalah clothing. Uh, so, do not write the operation cost of clothing. We write this as operation cost of food. Okay, so the first one is dash because it start from zero. If you tak nampak, you boleh buat garisan. Okay, so 5 divided by 10. So, the formula is the same. Uh, the formula is the original formula. We don't need to change uh, uh, like this eh? sebab yang ni dia nak motorcycle barang yang menurun ok so here uh, after we have uh, calculate this 0 0.5 increase to 1 increase to 1.5 increase to 2 this is increasing operation cost per units that's why if you draw you will get a concave PPC ok so what is the operation cost of the first 10 unit of food produced define operation cost Okay guys, I'll show it. I'll show it here for you. Sebab itu dah ada jawapan. Dia akan menyerabutkan awak. Okay. What is the opportunity cost of the first 10 unit of food produced? The first 10 unit of food produced means that from this point to this point. Because we want to produce from nothing to 10. So what are the opportunity costs? Cost yang kita terpaksa lepaskan adalah 5. 5 unit of clothing. That's it. Kalau dia tak cakap apa-apa, dia tak cakap per unit, maksudnya by point. Bukan yang decreasing over increasing tu. Okay. So, ada student, selalulah student salah jawab, dia akan bagi jawapan yang ni. 0.5. This is not the answer. So, kalau soalan-soalan macam ni, confirm bukan yang dia akan tanya per unit. Per unit, you calculate just to know the shape. If the question of this thing, confirm dia nak per uh, operation cost by point. Okay, and selalu student tak nampak soalan seterusnya. First of all, what is the operation cost of uh, the first 10 unit food produced? It's 5 units of clothing. This is the answer. Second one, define opportunity cost. Selalu student bagi saya sampai sini je, 5 units of clothing. Lepas tu dia move to next question. No, you cannot. Because they have another question here. Define opportunity cost. What do we learn in class? Opportunity cost is the? Foregone cost of not choosing the other best alternative. The foregone cost of not choosing the other best alternative. You define that and then you get your marks. See? So if it's two marks here, meaning that the answer for five unit of clothing is one marks and opportunity cost of foregone cost, sorry, opportunity cost is the foregone cost of not choosing the other best alternative, one mark. Okay? And that says, indicate the following in the answer A. So, answer A is meaning that you, you draw the, the concave PPC, right? Alright. So, here dia kata, tunjukkan point inefficiency. Inefficiency is inside the curve. So, show it here. Point scarcity outside the curve. Point efficient on the curve. Okay. Is the operation cost increasing, decreasing or constant? Explain. See, the operation cost is increasing. So, explain. Because to add additional units of food, because when you want to add 10 more, 10 more units of food, the amount of clothing need to be foregone is always increasing. Increase from 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. The same amount of food added, but the operation cost per unit keep increasing. So, there is a reason why... Uh, the operation cost is increasing because to add additional unit of food, more and more clothing need to be foregone. Asalnya clothing cuma 5. Lepas tu nak add lagi 10, jadi 10. Nak add lagi 10, jadi 15. Ha, more and more clothing need to be foregone. Okay? So, you may try. I don't want to explain everything. Alright? So, kadang-kadang tu, instead of pakai uh, soalan table macam ni, dia pakai dalam bentuk diagram like this. So, kalau you rasa macam, uh, payah yang beda, you boleh convert the, the diagram into table. See? So, we have here A, B, C, D, E. Pandai tak macam koordinat? Dia kan kalau koordinat ni X dulu baru Y kan? Ha, so, X yang mana? X yang bawah ni kan? Ha, so, X kat sini adalah kosong. Kosong. So, Y adalah 200. Kosong 200. So, kosong ni adalah apa? Barang apa? Car. 
Ya, 200 tu adalah motorcycle. So, that's why A, car is 0, motorcycle is 200. So, convert into table kalau you tak nak, tak boleh nampak daripada, apa, the diagram. Okay. State 3 basic assumption of PP series 1 is also glamour. Selalu dia tanya soalan ni. Okay. So, tolong ingat. Kadang-kadang tu dia ask you to explain what does it mean by fixed resources, what does it mean by fixed technology. So, what should you do is, uh, tengok balik my teaching video. Alright, compute the operation cost per unit of car for all combinations. So, kalau ada soalan macam ni, nak tak nak, bila dia bagi awak uh, diagram macam ni, you need to have the table so that it will be easier for you to uh, to calculate the operation cost per unit. Dia dah terang lagi gambar suruh ni, operation cost per unit maksudnya yang decreasing over increasing lah of car. So, 50 divided by 20. Uh, so, this is how you calculate. Make sure the first one is dash because it start from zero. Okay. State the types of operation cost. It's basically constant operation cost. Alright. So, let's proceed. Here, after you have done with the calculation of operation cost, this is the conclusion. Okay. The shape of PPC, we have three types of shape, which is concave, convex, and straight line. How we know, uh, how do the shape uh, form? is through the opportunity cost. Dia kata, Jangan kata macam ni tau dia terba Jangan terbalikkan dia For example Because the operation cost is, uh, Sorry Because the shape is convex That's why the operation cost is increasing No Dia start dengan Opportunity cost dulu Because the operation cost is increasing That's why The shape is convex Okay Alright so Here The shape of PPC And here Point along the PPC This is the same thing Alright we have factors that influence the shift of PPC. So, what are the factors that influence the shift of PPC? PPC may change. Like I told you before, PPC supposedly the amount of resources is here, meaning that we, this is the maximum we can produce. But sometimes there are factors that can alter the resources in our country. First of all, if we have economic growth, kemajuan economy. So when we have economic growth, meaning that the country have more money. When we have more money, the country can buy resources from outside. For example, buying petroleum from other country, bringing back to the country. Now, in terms of the resources, which is land, the natural resources will increase. And besides that, because we have economic growth, we can hire foreign labor. So, asalnya labor mengikut populasi kita je kan. Sekarang ni bila masuk juga buruh asing daripada luar, the foreign labor, we have more labor meaning that the resources of our country is increasing. So, more resources meaning that we can produce more. That's why the PPC shifting from here to here. So, make sure if you do the shifting, it should be parallel, selari, sama besar lah maksudnya shifting dia. Okay, when we have economic growth. And shifting, yang ni kita panggil shifting outward, keluar. Okay, PPC bukan sahaja boleh shifting outward, PPC can also shift inward. Contoh yang ni, shifting inward. So, when will PPC shift inward? When we have economic disasters. For example, we have economic down due to the recession. Or, we have natural disasters. Bila economic down, recession, kemelesetan ekonomi, the country won't have money. So, bila people tak, uh, country tak ada duit, what happened to the people? They will start to migrate. Contohnya macam Indonesia. The government cannot provide job opportunity for them. If they stay in the country, they won't get any money. Macam mana nak sari hidup? That's why they migrate. Bekerja di luar negara. Bekerja di negara jiran. So what happened there? Our resources will go outside. Berkurang. That's why we shift inward. Lagi, economic disasters, bila kita ada natural disasters. For example, tsunami. In terms of our uh, factors of production, which is land, labor, capital, and also entrepreneur, kalau ada economic disasters, natural resources akan musnah. 
labor pun akan mati semasa tsunami kan meninggal. In terms of capital, capital ni capital goods lah, machinery, money also akan musnah. Look at what happened to Japan masa dia dapat tsunami tu kan. And what about entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is people. Labor men men meninggal, same goes with entrepreneur. So all our factors of production ataupun even one year yang berkurang, automatically the apa? PPC will shift inward. So they parallel shifting also. So this is the reason why the PPC shift. Another reason is kalau shifting outward lah eh, keluar ni. Okay. Eh tak boleh. Sorry. Pertama is because of economic growth. Kedua is because of the improvement in technology. When we use better technology, the production capability will become much better. Using people. Eh, tengok eh. Cuba bayangkan guna orang dan guna machinery. Mana yang lagi efisien? Of course guna machinery. Sebab machine tak sakit. Machine can work 24-7 as long as not broken. Machine tak melibatkan emotional pain. Dia tak akan menyebabkan uh, apa tak nak datang kerja. Machine is there. And the the quality of goods produced by machine is constant. Ha. So tu kelebihan machinery. So when we have machinery, we we produce something using machinery instead of using people. Of course, the amount of goods to be produced will increase one fold maybe. Lebih banyak lagi. Next is increase in population. Every day we have new uh apa newcomers in the country. Okay, the foreign labor, also the birth rate of the country increasing. Increase in population, automatically it's alter the, the factors of production of labor here. Labor. So, automatically the PPC will shift outward. And we have the factors that can cause the PPC to shift inwards. Like this. The first one is natural disasters. Second one is war. Kita nak akhir zaman ni kan? As long as why, people will resolve to war. Sebab tak dapat uh, kata sepakat untuk menyelesaikan masalah. Decrease in technology. Logic ke? Logic. Because the technology destroyed. Tsunami menyebabkan teknologi kita musnah. So we cannot produce. So jangan fikir teknologi makin mundur. Tak. Dia decrease in technology. Meaning that the technology destroyed. Memang orang buat khianat ke? Masukkan virus dalam semua sistem komputer, komputer tak berjalan. So, what happen? Production capability will go down. And special untuk teknologi here, okay, sometimes teknologi can be altered only for one good. See, ni, I, I follow the textbook, eh? SM stand for sewing machine, mesin jahit. B stand for butter. Okay, so here, in this case, teknologi for sewing machine je yang meningkat. That's why, yang ni yang bergerak. Bahagian sewing machine je. But, bahagian butter, consistent, constant, nothing change. While this one, the technology in butter yang increasing. Yang sewing machine tak berubah. Kalau dia broad macam ni, decrease or increase in technology, dia tak cakap which one, which good. You can shift, you need to shift both. Uh, shift, shift parallel lah. Tak ada yang uh, berubah dengan sekata. But, if they mention specifically only the technology of swing machine increase, so the PPC belah sini je. Increase. Okay. And here, population is the same. There's an, uh, an explanation. Economic system, I will explain in my other teaching video. This teaching video is already very long. Already 43. But I would like to explain a few of the questions there. Alright. So, here. On the same diagram as in part A, okay, after you have drawn the diagram here, plot, uh, the question asks for plot, so meaning that you need to use the graph paper. So, guys, come on. You learn this mathematics in your class uh, during high school. Kalau nak plot 20 small uh, boxes of graph paper per scale. Jangan pakai kecil sangat. Okay. And scale tu mesti ikut CV. Jangan tiba-tiba merata-rata. For example, lepas 7, lepas tu 9, lepas tu 15 pula tak ikut CV. So, follow the, 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 apa? CV lah. Okay. Uh, here, after you have plot on the same diagram as in part A, 
draw a new PPC to show the effect of economic growth. So this is question 3. So I'll go with the answer through set. So I'm going to look at you. Question 3 here. Here, okay. So if you plot, okay, you, get, you will get a concave PPC. So on the same diagram, I'm going to get this graph yang sama. Okay, you need to draw uh, effect of economic growth. Economic growth will, will result to a shift outward of the PPC. So you draw a shifting outward. So label sikit, the original one is PPC 0. The the one that shift is PPC 1. Buat anak panas sikit. Okay? And then, uh, uh, yang ni kan special case. Sketch the effect of the following situation on the production possibility curve. So kita dah tahu kan PPC dia dalam bentuk concave. So we redraw that. Okay? Jangan pakai dalam sini eh. Make sure one question, one diagram. Okay, one drawing. Jangan letak dua-dua atau satu diagram. So, dia akan menyebabkan very confusing. Dan kita tak akan marking kalau student buat macam tu. So, be careful eh. Be extra careful. So, the first question is, the movement of resources from producing tractor to food industry. So, sekarang ni, they decided to produce two types of good, which is tractor and food. The same resources. Okay? So, this is the original one. PPC 0. I just sketch. Tulis je. Rupa, rupa macam ni lah. Okay? And then they mention here, now, uh, this country want to move the resources from producing tractor to food industry. They want more resources to produce food. So, what happened? Black food, the PPC will start to increase. But for tractor, sebab they move. Resource tu bukan bertambah eh. Dia, dia pindahkan daripada tractor to food. So, belah tractor akan decrease. Belah food akan increase. So, dia akan jadi macam ni. So, better for the new PPC, you buat dalam bentuk garis putus-putus. Senang nak identify. Satu lagi, you boleh label lah. Ataupun use different color lah. Uh, pen yang berwarna berlainan. PPC 0 and PPC 1. So, make sure the, the shape of the new one is also concave eh. Concave shape. Jangan tiba-tiba buat dalam bentuk straight line dah lah. PPC asal bentuk concave. Lepas tu yang, yang boleh berubah tu jadi straight line. Jangan buat macam tu. Alright, next is the bird flu disease spread throughout the population of an economy causing a sudden, a sudden surge in the number of death rate. Uh, ada student yang kata, uh, bird flu, penyakit sesama burung. Burung ni ayam lah. So, dia berkaitan dengan makanan. Food je lah berkurang medium. Uh, jangan macam tu. Kenapa we are afraid of the bird flu disease kita sampai bunuh ayam-ayam, burung-burung semua ternakan tu sebab kalau kena kat manusia, manusia boleh meninggal. Ha. So basically, to produce tractor, you need to have labor, right? So, if one of the factors, among the factors of production, land labor capital entrepreneur is decreasing, alright? So, our factors of production, I cannot show take here because this one is uh, PDF. Okay. Here is our factors production kan. Land labor capital entrepreneur kan. When we have bird flu disease, uh, burung tu, ayam tu, kategori land. Land dah berkurang. Kalau dijangkiti oleh labor, labor pun akan berkurang. Ha. Untuk capital entrepreneur pun orang, dia akan berkurang. So, three of our factors of production might decrease due to the bird flu disease. So, when it affects Satu pun, PPC kita akan shift inward. PPC will shift inward. Apatah lagi if it effect 3. So, that's why what happened to the PPC? It shifted inward. Alright? So, we have plenty of question there. Please try. I have all the answer there. If you need the answer, please inform. Tapi, you need to try dulu. Baru saya akan provide answer. Ah, okay, so this is all the answer I have done. I've done everything. And you can also um open to the essay question. I don't have the question essay question here. Uh, so you can do the essay question reg regarding the, the one I teach you. For example, define opportunity cost with the end of diagram and explain how opportunity cost will influence the shape of PPC. Huh, you know there are Three types of PPC, 
concave, convex and straight line meaning that you need to explain everything and you must relate this with the the opportunity cost per unit the thing is, takkanlah nak buat table setiap satu media I need to do the calculation for 8 marks so this is how you answer the question for the first question, this is the answer uh, so you draw it the concave PPC and dekat group B ni yang meningkat ni nilai dia sama so buat sama besar so that bila you bawa ke atas you dapat ni 10 ke 9 maksudnya first you foregone 1 and then 9 ke 2 foregone 2 ni foregone 3 so nampak tak 1 2 3 the foregone cost is increasing the opportunity cost is increasing so the opportunity cost per unit is increasing that will cause the shape of PPC to become concave Increasing operation cost per unit means an additional to add additional unit of good B because I, I'm not using the name of the good, I just write down as a good A and good B. Eh? To add additional of good B, more and more a uh, good A need to be forgot because start from this one, now it's increased to two, now it increased to three. The thing is, I did not write this down. This one should be point A, point B, point C, point D. You want to write it down, it's okay. Tak nak write it down pun okay. Sebab kita nampak terangkan lagi bersuluh. This one is 1, 2, 3. So, please uh, show the calculation lah kat sini sikit. Menunjukkan the amount of opportunity cost is increasing. Well, for this one, if you want to ha have the shape of concave, buat je bentuk concave dulu. And then, bawah ni mesti dalam skala yang sama. 2, 2, 2, 2. So, here bila you naik ke atas, 10. And then, buat lagi. You, you letak je lah figure yang berkenaan So here I put it 4 10 minus 6 is 4 6 minus 3 is uh, 3 3 minus 1 is 2 So you can so show you here That the operation cost is decreasing From 4 to 3 to 2 This is not according to the scale eh? saya, saya bukan pakai kertas graph ni Saya pakai sketching saja. So tak apa saya tak ikut uh, CV pun Okay So here it's, uh, it says that the operation cost per unit is decreasing The shape of PPC will become convex so, decreasing operation cost per unit means to add additional unit of good B, less and less good A need to be foregone because asalnya 4, sekarang jadi 3, sekarang jadi 2. Alright, for this one, it's very simple. Yang paling senang sekali student draw, just a straight line. So, make sure the line um, is the same. The, 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 orang kata keluasan dia ni, jarak dia antara part C ni sama. Okay, so because to add... To add another 2, you foregone 2. Add another 2, foregone 2 juga. So, the amount of foregone is the same. So, constant option cost per unit means that to add additional good B, the, um, the same amount of good A need to be foregone. Okay? So, kita tengok lagi soalan A, C. Kalau you rasa macam pun nak main video is very long, you boleh pause here. Alright? So, differentiate the concept of scarcity from Islamic perspective. This one is already done this. Uh, do we have another one? Okay, now you can answer this one. So, if, if you have the PPC, if you have economic growth, what happened to the PPC? It will shift outward. Alright, so you may try to answer this question. That's it, I think. Uh, so, I'll see you in another teaching video.